All right, what's up guys? I'm Cam. I just wanted to make a quick video today on my uh, EDC loadout, what I usually carry every day. I uh, just wanted to quickly go over stuff that I have in my pockets and on my person and why I carry them. Uh, nothing too fancy. So um, first thing, of course, is wallet. Pretty self-explanatory. And keys. So those don't really need any explanation. Um, I also carry a multi-tool in my pocket. Um, it's always helpful, uh, usually if I just need a little screwdriver. The things that I use the most on this guy are a screwdriver um, or the pliers, but I find that, that I use it enough to um, justify having that on my person. So um, then next, over on my right side, I have my uh, Spyderco paramilitary three lightweight and that is converted into a um, quick draw by my buddy ted and i will provide his instagram handle under but basically he just takes these spider co uh, folding knives and converts them by adding the dsr ring and the thorn onto them so pretty slick so if i ever need to open a box really quick i can get that done of course um cell phone um, nothing really too fancy obviously it's a Samsung S9 uh, obviously it's nice to have flashlight feature on there I've got a little steely magnetic mount on there as well um, which I find to be actually pretty useful um, so it has a little magnetic ball that you can put on your dash in your vehicle which it will stick to but since it has the magnet on it you can stick it to all kinds of things you can stick it onto your vehicle so if you wanted to take um, a video of yourself or even a picture of yourself with friends and you're out in a field in the middle of nowhere after maybe hunting or something like that, you can stick this guy onto your vehicle and just flip the camera towards yourself and do the um, camera delay timer. And you can pretty much put it at whatever height you want because it's magnetic. So that's actually a pretty cool little deal. Okay. Um, here I've got my Smith & Wesson. This is the newer version of the Shield in 45. So this is the Shield 2.0 um, in 45 caliber. I find this one to be a really nice size. Um, you know, it's basically a full size pistol, but it's not so big that, um, that I find it hard to conceal. So and another thing that I really like about it is that it's really narrow. Um, so that's, I think, a good function of that guy and that is in the uh, we the people holster i used to have a uh, inside of the waistband holster with the two clips on it and i found that to be kind of really cumbersome and actually relatively uncomfortable and it didn't want to conform to my body shape especially because i have such a, a slim waist so ended up going with the one clip design which i would personally recommend and then on the other side here, I just have um, one spare mag, uh, same We The People uh, universal mag holder. And then this guy is a Core Essentials gun belt. So this is the leather gun belt. Um, I can't remember. I think this is the X2 maybe uh, buckle. But these are really slick. So this guy is just a ratcheting belt style. So the nice thing about this is I can... It's really adjustable, so as opposed to a normal belt, which has holes every single inch, which only gives you so much adjustability, this clicks every quarter inch, and it's super easy to either tighten, or if I want to loosen it, I just put um, pull this little tab here, and it pops right out. So throughout the day, I actually adjust that guy pretty frequently, um, and it's easy to do, so I really like that guy a lot. And the last thing that I carry on my person is an ankle medical kit. Um, so I've got someone local here who actually is fabbing these up for me um, to sell out of my storefront over here. So uh, in this guy, I've got uh, one pair of latex gloves. I've got a quick clot bleeding control dressing. I have a mini trauma compression bandage and I've got um, one chest seal I used to have a twin pack but I just decided to go with one for now that's pretty much all that I can fit in there uh, I might add one later down the road and then um, I've got a soft tourniquet SOF tourniquet 
and that is it for that guy. And um, I might see about adding a sharpie and uh, potentially uh, some shears. I probably really need to get some shears in there. If I absolutely had to, I could probably use this guy to um, remove some clothing from somebody. But of course, I wouldn't want to. Um, cut them or make anything worse so I probably need to see if I can fit some shears in there it's just kind of a little bit awkward with everything else that I have in the ankle medical kit uh, but that's my loadout every day um, that I carry it's uh, not too cumbersome I think that it's a kind of a good balance of having what I would consider pretty much the essentials and stuff that I frequently use but um, not so much that I get to the point where I don't want to carry it anymore so hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching